Well, a Brian man is dead and his grandson locked up tonight facing aggravated murder charges. And not only that, authorities say he kidnapped his daughters, which triggered an Amber Alert and launched a manhunt that went into Ohio and Michigan. And the sheriff says the suspect's drug use may have been a factor. 13 ABC's Michaela Marshall is in Defiance County tonight with the story. The Defiance County Sheriff tells me this is a complex case with multiple crime scenes, a murder, two assaults resulting in serious injuries, and a kidnapping igniting a tri-state search. But perhaps the worst part, according to the sheriff, is that he says the suspect's two young daughters witnessed all of it. My hope is that uh, these children can learn to grow up and live with what they viewed. Defiance County Sheriff Douglas Engel says this all began as a domestic violence 911 call at this home on Bainfelt Road around 4.30 Sunday afternoon. It's where 33-year-old Dustin Vogelson lived with his two daughters, their mother and his mother, according to the sheriff. When deputies arrived, they found his 74-year-old grandfather, Larry Vogelson, dead. The sheriff told 13 ABC the Lucas County coroner completed an autopsy Monday and ruled the preliminary cause of death, blunt force trauma to the head. The accused killer, his grandson, Dustin. The best way to put it is uh, domestic that got out of control. The sheriff says Dustin Vogelson is accused of beating the mother of his children and his grandmother. The sheriff says both women were treated for serious but non-life-threatening injuries. I believe that the case will show that the grandfather was trying to intercede in between the alder, the two parties, um, was trying to protect the great-grandchildren of, of Larry's. After the assaults and murder, Vogelson is accused of fleeing the scene and kidnapping his seven and three-year-old daughters, prompting an Amber Alert. The sheriff says Vogelson drove to Hillsdale, Michigan, and that's where he dropped the girls off at a stranger's home. They were considered safe and the Amber Alert was canceled around 6 p.m. We're very fortunate that he was willing to turn the children over and that they're safe today. The sheriff says Vogelson then drove to nearby Camden, Michigan, got gas, but didn't pay. From there, he headed back to Ohio, and the sheriff says around 7 p.m., he was caught and arrested at a gas station near the turnpike. Now Vogelson sits behind bars at CCNO facing aggravated murder charges. Based upon what we viewed at the scene, um, along with uh, the narcotics involved, um, the combination just became a tragedy. The Defiance County Sheriff tells me Vogelsong appeared in court Monday and he's being held without bond. He's expected back in Defiance Municipal Court Wednesday on video arraignment, according to the sheriff. The sheriff also tells me this is an ongoing investigation and as long as Vogelsong is locked up, there's no threat to the public. The sheriff also says Vogelsong will likely face further charges. Reporting in Defiance County, Michaela Marshall, 13ABC Action News.